I'm Hugh Dunford Wood. I call myself a painter and uh, um, a decorator because from an early age I've always decorated things as well as made paintings and illustrations. And um, I was fortunate enough after my art school at the Ruskin School of Drawing to come across a woman called Peggy Angus who taught me to make wallpaper. She was my fairy godmother. I had a fairy godfather. Um, and she, uh, I was her slave or her apprentice in Camden Town for two or three years. And she was in her late 60s at that time. Peggy thought that all art was, or most of modern art was masturbation. And she said, um, art for life was the thing, and art is decoration and in embellishing, celebrating life around you. And that's very much been my philosophy that I think I learnt from her and then developed since. And I've always painted ceilings and floors and and had wallpaper around that I've made, um, never commercially until about oh, four or five years ago when I moved down here from Oxfordshire and we were selling our house in in Oxfordshire and um, people coming round the house said, where did you get this wallpaper? And I said, well, I made it, doesn't everybody? And they wanted to buy the blocks and they... Um, they made me realise that it was in fashion because for years my environment has always been too much for people. It's been too over-decorated. So I thought, well, I could set up a little workshop here to help employ young kids during the winter months when they can't go and work on the beach and in the beach huts, uh, beach cafes. And you'd think that people would come running to my door. Well, they don't because I... I'm not very good at marketing myself. I'm not really interested in marketing myself because my interest is really with my painting and my painting is keeping me quite busy. I paint portraits and landscapes at the moment and I am the artist in residence in Bermuda for this year, which is their 400th anniversary year, anniversary of settlement because they were um, inhabited when, they, when the first people came to the island. But I've the exhibition that I'm doing there is uh, entirely Dorset and and Bermuda because we are twinned, and there are similarities between the two. We're both um, world heritage sites. So I've been painting all along the coast here, and um, it's really interesting to live in a place. I've known this place all my life, and. Um, to really come up with a plan how to portray a place and how to portray Bermuda. And so I'm, I've been painting workshops, and I've been painting landscape, and I've been doing portraits and um, fishing boats and the harbours and all sorts of things. And it's, and it's really quite interesting. The idea of the wallpaper is that you, you paint the paper one colour in emulsion paint, it's the simplest thing. I mean, you can do it in a on a kitchen table, and with the block, which has got to be a the width of a roll of wallpaper or a um, a division of that, um, is also painted with lino, and then you just put it down on the paper, roll it on the back with a roller, and pick it up again. And because the brush strokes are irregular, because you can never stroke the same way and so on and because the pressure is irregular it creates irregularities all over yes they're designed to be the background to furniture the background to paintings because that's what wallpaper is you talk about something being like wallpaper which is meant to be almost insignificant but the eye plays over the pattern like the eye will play over the pattern of that, or the or the pattern in a in a painting, or or in a cup, or whatever you have. Um, and I like handmade objects that um, reveal something of the maker. I mean, a a table that's been made by someone 
or a cup that has been made by someone has got their their imprint and uh, it is so much nicer than a machine made thing that is perfect but perfectly dead um, and unfortunately we live in a in a growingly perfectly dead world and one of the things I is um, important to me is to bring life back into the world whether it's by um, covering the walls with wallpaper or um, painting someone or doing a drawing for someone or or taking them out into the wild to to um, to, to be for a while instead of our constant doing. Mm.